Alright, here we go, going back to the Los Altos Library because I have to fall back. I really don't have any good options here. Uh, I would hang around if that other library next to Stanford was open, I'd just bring my stuff over there. I don't think it's that far, I didn't quite measure the distance. But uh, it's not open, so I'll just go back to Los Altos. Have to take a step back. And part of the reason is I have to take a step back because I'm waiting on this mail. I didn't even really get to check today's delivery because I was told that they need time to sort it. <laughs> That's the problem with being homeless and relying on homeless services. Alright, Google Maps says that I could take a left up here and I, I figure what the heck, you know, maybe I could get into the island. There is a nice island. So I just work, work the left lane, be cautious of the right, but I can squeeze into that island. Oh my god, but this, this car in front. Can't go. Yeah, if I want to, if I take a right, I could maybe do like a U-turn. Okay. All right, that was not bad. This is a nice road. It's not too busy. I think there's a highway that parallels this that um, most most of the people want to get on to avoid the all the stoplights and the then the slower speeds and all that. See that guy just easily eased his way into my lane. I'm not barreling down the road, so it's easier to shuffle around. El Camino Real keeps a real real uh, cautious So I guess I'll just hang out till 9 o'clock at the Los Altos Library and sleep again in the lot. Come back this way and try again. I mean, the free meals are helping pay for my gas at least, since I'm not paying $20 to eat. Uh, that money could go towards gas. Use that money. For other things it costs a lot to eat I mean yeah I got food stamps too but I run out I'm a big heavy eater that's partly why I'm homeless is because I'm a big heavy eater I love food yeah my turn isn't for a while oh okay trucks got some kind of loose threading snapping all over but yeah, I've taken a pic uh, quite a few pictures of a lot of these businesses. There's a few I could pick up that I, I think I've skipped. There's there's still just a, like a couple of things, a few things here and there I could take pictures of, just just for the fun of it. I think I think I'd like to focus on just going past Mountain View without even. Uh, doing a, a job at that day labor I'm kind of skipping out on the day labor I just I'm not too enthused about it anyway with all the Mexicans speaking their Spanish I could just see myself getting caught up in some job where everybody's speaking Spanish to each other and then they're then they speak broken English to me you know, I just don't and, and you know I just don't trust it I'm, I'm fine. I, I might be fine skipping on through, trying to focus on uh, maybe building a subscriber base by advertising on Google Maps. The one source I never really gave much consideration to for years. Imagine had I done that back in 2014 when I really started putting out videos on U U YouTube. If I would have really started buckling down and taking pictures, throwing them up on Google Maps, and putting a message saying, subscribe to my channel. 
maybe I could be at a bigger uh, number. Maybe I wouldn't be homeless. Maybe I wouldn't have this problem of constant, constant um, struggling to, to pay for things. But it's hard to say, you know, it's... I mean, it took a long time for me to really see the numbers going up. I think it's kind of cool how that's working. I want to be the, I want to have the most views on Google Maps. I'm, you know, I'm creating a new, a new uh, game for myself. I'm told I'm one of the highest. Not many people do this. Not many people can do it. Not many people got the motivation to sleep in their car in different places and take pictures of, of uh, landmarks around, around them. It's a challenge because, you know, there could be like five Starbucks in one city, so you really got to pay attention to which Starbucks you were at. Bouncing around city to city. You know, it forces you to have to travel in a way. If you want to get, get those few extra pennies. And I've been motivated even well before YouTube to, to get out and bicycle around cities and check them out. And I was, I was bicycling and, and taking pictures before digital, before digital cameras became reasonably priced. I took, I took a number of pictures. I was conserving, but I took pictures of the trails between Rice Lake and Cameron, Wisconsin. Just because I, I thought they looked so beautiful, and I wish I could have. And I, I would bicycle to to just a city, park in some spot, and just bicycle all over, and then and then just 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 enjoy it. I'd look at the wildlife. I'd pick some I'd pick some herbs like catnip. That's kind of what motivates me to really get out and move around. Not getting out and taking pictures of businesses. That's for cities. Out in the countryside, I'm out looking for, for plants to harvest. Oh, is this my turn? It's got to be San Antonio. San Antonio, San Antonio, San Antonio, San Ant There it is. Whoo! You really got to look hard for these roads. They don't just, they don't just come, out, come out at you. <laughs> um, yeah, taking a step back. Another... That happens from time to time. You gotta take a step back. That's the mail thing. I figured I'd have to wait a long time. But yeah, I checked the mail today. It wasn't there, and then I, I wanted to check today's delivery, but they have to sort that mail, so... Um, I'm left with no other option, because I really need that, that mail. It's two pieces of mail. I'm thinking I'll just... I just need to really wait on. There's a third kind of a fun one, I guess, from some guy saying he's sending me a hat that's to arrive in a few days. But uh, you know, I could skip out on that one, no problem. I don't need I don't need to clutter up my car. I'll clutter it up with important pieces of mail, but like this hat this guy said he's, he's sending me, not quite as important. I got I got some good hats right now. They're working out. One start one smelling a little bit bit like vinegar for some reason. I think it's because of some food I put in the bag. Oh my tires squeak. So that's flashing. Whoa. 35 here. I need the left left hand speed enforced by a radar on San Antonio I take a left at a library a very familiar library now a very well a very loved I really love this library I love the workout area I love the open bathrooms I love the library I love the close proximity to the grocery store. I love the the easygoing nature of these people. It's kind of a feel for a, of a countryside, all these beautiful trees, relaxed. People mind their own businesses. 
It does get busy at times, but it's not so offensively busy that I, I feel like I gotta escape. I could deal with it. Oh, but I don't want to live here. I wouldn't want to live here. I wouldn't want to spend a long-term period of time here. I really want to explore. But while waiting on the mail, this is this is as comfortable I, as I can get. I can't. There's. I can't really advance into Palo Alto. There's really few options. It's very tight on parking and stuff. I. I just. I'm skipping through. I'm plotting, I'm just, I'm planning on just skipping through, there's just, the center of Palo Alto is impossible, I'm not going to even deal with it. I've found places north of Palo Alto now that I feel co more comfortable parking long term all day, um, past, right, right through Palo Alto. I mean, yeah, I, I just parked in Palo Alto at a sp spot that's pretty comfortable. Um, but I don't, it's too, it's too busy, too much tech, too many tech businesses around there, people, young people wandering all over the place, and, uh, yeah, I could do this, I could do this, I could do this, I can, I can't, oh, yeah, there is that back road I can take, I really need to get to the bottom of that squeaking. Oh, man, it just won't let up. Something is really bad. It has to be worn out, worn so bad now. That's something before I get rid of this car, before I lose this car, I gotta find out what's been wearing away and causing all this squeaking. What's the squeaking? I never had so much squeaking before. I definitely can't drive in a stealthy manner. Can't sneak around. Oh my god. If I wanted to park next to the library, there is that option. One spot. Nah. I'll just go... Oh man, both tires. It's so bad. It's gotten worse. All my squeaking has gotten much worse. All right, so I, I think, oh no, okay. Oh, what is going on with the two back-to-back pullouts? That's so stupid! That's so dumb! I... I don't be...